Welcome back in to another edition of Inside the Tornado presented by Walk-Ons. I'm your host, Chris Mangrum, and our guest today is the head coach of our women's volleyball team, Haley Price. Coach, yes. thanks for stopping by. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So you're right around the halfway mark of your first uh, season as head coach. So what would you say you've learned since you took the job back in January? Um, I would say the most exciting part of what we've learned since January is just how capable this group is. Um, I talked back in January about how lucky I was, how blessed I was yeah. to um, have the returners come in and that they made that transition really impactful. But um, they truly have a lot more you know, skill and heart and fight and grit than I ever anticipated. Mm. Um, so building that offense to support our strengths and really try to take that and turn it up to the next level has been a really exciting part. Um, also on the campus side of things, just uh, making sure that we're acclimated as much as possible. We've had tremendous support from the faculty and staff and yeah. uh, just utilizing those resources to really make a difference in the lives of our student athletes. Well, when we talked back in January, I was so impressed with the culture that you were hoping to build in your program. How has that gone so far? I know it takes more than a year to do so, not even a year yet, but how is that going? Yes, I would say uh, the foundation is there. Yeah. Anything that I've asked of them as far as you know, community service, our fundraising projects, our interaction with our community, mm -hmm. and uh, just the love for what we do in the university has shown through tremendously. Um, watching them come back out and have some passion and fight on the court has taken things to the next level, but I could not be more proud of the foundation that they are setting right now. Well, you, um, in your losses this season, half of them have come in that fifth and final yes. set. So uh, how, what do you think that says about the way your team has played so far? Um, I would say as heartbreaking it is, it is right. to be in that situation, um, we're really proud of being there. Mm -hmm. We're seeing it happen more often. Um, it's just those last final few points. What's that push going to be yeah. um, to turn the odds in our favor? But I would say as far as just a general level of play and fight, it's gotten tremendously more consistent. Mm -hmm. um, we're just coming off of one this past week that that was painful. But honestly, um, for them to continuously put themselves in a situation where we're fighting back and battling back after being down early, yeah. especially down two sets, just um, showcases exactly what we're talking about. I see them doing the gym. I'm proud of the, the work that's going in in the gym, and I'm really excited to see it show up on the court. It's coming, I can tell, yes. Coach. Uh, so Riley Nelson currently leads the conference in hitting percentage, and Gracia Love is top five in the conference and kills per set. So what have these two juniors meant to your team so far? Um, honestly, they have really been consistent mm -hmm. when we've needed it. Um, our, our junior class in general is is one of our larger size classes, yeah. and um, they've really um, stepped into some bigger roles. Riley and Gracia have had roles in the past, but um, the pressure has been on for them to perform really consistently. And I, I think that that's really allowed us to you know, find those missing pieces in other areas and try yeah. it out, just um, making sure that we have not only a, a little voice, um, they're starting to step into their leadership as well, which I'm excited to see in the future, um, but really just allowing us to score more points and be consistent with Riley and the, the blocking capacity as well uh, has allowed us to uh, kind of take that next step in what we're doing. And Gracia is running a much quicker offense than what she has in the past mm. and been extremely successful with that. Well, as you prepare for the back half of your schedule, what would you say excites you about your team moving forward? Um, I would say that uh, just watching that determination take charge. Uh, it hasn't been an easy first half of the season. This conference is extremely competitive, mm -hmm. and that's one of the best things about it. Um, but because there are so many teams in our conference and so many really good talented volleyball teams. Um, I'm excited to see those matchups continue and that edge start to take shape as we're going in. We're only more determined and uh, more competitive moving into the back half than we have been in the first. Yeah. Well, our women's volleyball team is right in the thick of conference play. Uh, come out to campus, watch these ladies play. You can also visit kingtornado.com to learn more about the roster, their schedule, their statistics, and even more about the program. For Coach Price, I'm Chris. This has been another edition of Inside the Tornado presented by Walk-Ons. Thanks for tuning in. See you later.